hello and welcome back to the cube counselor um yeah you notice there is not a <laughs> my desktop my ugly ugly desktop is not up on the screen um my face is not on the screen we're gonna do something different i'm sure you've seen these several times recently but, but we're hoping to present to you something a little bit different as far as cracking a pack would go uh, we're going to talk about grounding techniques um, again I am a licensed therapist but you know I offer these as um, you know anecdotal or uh, you know something that might help you uh, but of course you know if you're having extreme feelings uh, anytime you're playing magic or, or outside of it uh, you know disruptive emotional outbursts in your life you know we encourage you to, to seek professional help but you know I thought this would be an interesting way to kind of open a pack so we're gonna kind of go through the pack because I was noticing today I was I was watching someone open a uh, um, some some booster packs of Modern Horizons 2 just came out you know really excited about the set you know cool to watch people crack packs but I've noticed for myself that I become kind of anxious when I watch other people crack packs. I want them to crack good things. I want to see good things come out. I want to see the cards, you know, that I like appear in the packs. Uh, so I was just kind of noticing and aware that there was, um, you know, some some interesting feelings that I was having. So I, I tried to kind of use that awareness here. And, and maybe I use that as an excuse. And, and I apologize. I'm trying to adjust the volume as I go here as well. Maybe I am um, I'm using that as an excuse to to spoil myself here on Father's Day and get a uh, a collector's booster pack. <laughs> this is a pack, not a box, by the way. Uh, if you see this ridiculous thing here, um, don't know if it's. I, I'm assuming it's like an anti-theft thing at the store, which, you know, I, I certainly understand. But um, maybe maybe there's a better way they could do that than uh, this gigantic thing. But you know, again, thought it would be something fun. Uh, wanted to get you know just crack one for myself. You know, I was excited about the set. Um, and then talking to, you know, my friend Jim, guest on the show, wonderful host of this channel, and kind of talking about his, his process and, and what he was thinking. Um, you know, I don't want to assume what, what he was feeling. Uh, he's, he, he, he definitely, um, if I can say, presents his, his, himself as a logical thinker. He, I, I don't necessarily, um, no, if I got a feeling, I, I could probably guess, but I don't want to take those leaps. But um, yeah, it just seemed like he was um, not not as uh, as pleased as as he could have been with his box opening. So that kind of left me a little bit down. But um, you know, just all, just kind of thinking about all that in cracking packs, I realized there, there's a lot more that goes into the, these packs, and I don't mean just because it's in you know this insane giant box. I, I mean. Literally, there's a lot that goes into to cracking packs and playing magic, as, as we talk about, you know, on here all the time. So, you know, again, I thought we would kind of go over that. A basic grounding technique that a lot of, you know, therapists will use is the 54321 technique, um, using, you, you know, your five senses. You know, uh, we don't downplay the fact that, you know, these things cost money. So if we, if we don't have the money to spend on them, you know, we want to be responsible don't want to cause ourselves, um, you know, significant stress, you know, based on our financial decisions. But, you know, if you're able to do that and you want to, you know, uh, open packs as, as part of your hobby, uh, still there's there's feelings that, that go into it. And we don't want to downplay, again, the financial aspect of it. These things aren't cheap. So, but if you're, you're you know, feeling yourself in a game, maybe, maybe, again, you can apply these to other applications outside of the pack. But. Five, four, three, two, one is basically trying to keep you in the moment, keeping your emotions from, um, you know, really triggering extreme behaviors. Because again, emotions are, are are just what they are. They happen. They're they're a response to something. It's more about the thoughts we have that and the the intrusive or incursive, the intrusive or 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 you know really harsh thoughts that we might have, that's what leads, you know, to us, you know, making poor decisions. I think on my last episode, I mentioned, that, you know, I kind of went through that, you know, could use some grounding for myself there, you know, kind of got myself back into the game instead of, 
you know, almost punting away game three, as we talked about in the last episode. So, again, this is kind of just something that's been on my mind lately. So I thought we'd apply it here. So you're going to go through the five senses, five things you can see, three things you can hear. Oops, I skipped. Five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. And in our sense, we'll use one thing, you know, that we enjoy about magic. Uh, we'll try to, you know, bring it back to that. So first off, we can see this amazing art that's on this package. And now they don't credit the artist. Oops. Um, they don't credit the artist right off the bat on the boxes. It probably says on the back somewhere, but you see the awesome Modern Horizons 2 logo, the Magic the Gathering logo. I've always liked the, the Planeswalker emblem that they've used for several years now. So those are some things we can see right away. You know, again, if I'm having some extreme feelings about opening, you know, and spending my, my Father's Day present to myself on this, you know, again, I can kind of refocus back on the present instead of thinking ahead about, you know, poor financial investments or, or, or whatever, not opening what I want to open. <clears throat> I can think about, you know, this cool package that we got here. So that's a good start. Oh my goodness, and then it's inside another package, so that's a whole other thing within itself. <laughs> oh my gosh, jeez. Okay, so these are what they used to come in on the shelf, so again, I'm assuming this is some sort of anti-theft, um, although they didn't like scan it at the register or anything, so again, we've got some cool art. It's This box is actually foiled, so that's kind of cool, and then let's see here, collector's booster. Different, it looks like, than the art on the set booster, so that's something we could definitely appreciate. So we went through some things, you know, again, that we can see there. We're already hearing, we're jumping ahead a little bit to the three things we can hear. I know a lot of people like this, the sound of the pack. You know, maybe you can hear the hum of my computer. Can you hear it? Um, the sound of my voice <laughs> maybe is, is uh, something that can bring people back down. And I don't know how these go, so... And when we're getting back into something we can see here, we see an awesome foil right away. That's a cool way to start. Um, this way, I think. Um, yeah. So we'll open this pack here. Touch is much easier. We can see, if we can feel the really smooth foil. We can feel the edging. Again, you know, some people enjoy the crinkle of the paper. That's something we can touch. And as we're opening packs, maybe that's something, you know, we're in the middle of a draft and we're concerned about some picks we made. We didn't get what we wanted on the wheel. You know, maybe the sensation of opening the pack is something that can bring you back to to the moment. Um, you know, you can feel, you know, the play mat here. Again, uh, people enjoy, I'm a little bit far away right now, but, you know, if, if you were in the room with me, maybe you could smell... Um, the pack opening, I mean, people like the, the smell of a fresh pack, so that's definitely something to start. Um, yeah, the, the fresh printing. Uh, I know I, I definitely like that when I get a, a box of comic books that I just printed for my comic book company, you know, that kind of smell. Same thing here. You know, there's something about uh, ink on paper that uh, can smell really good, so maybe that's something you like. Maybe... I don't know, you have your favorite snack around, you smell that, that kind of brings you back to the moment. Um, especially, you know, these days we're playing a lot of games online, so you kind of have these opportunities, maybe a little bit more than you would in person, but you can do these things in person too. Um, again, we're jumping around a little bit here, but things you can touch going back to, um, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, the feel of the cards. Again, these are going to be all... Um, foil, but maybe, you know, you have other foil. Maybe you like the feel of your sleeves. Uh, we have some sleeves here. You know, I use the um, Eclipse sleeves here. I really like the smooth feel of the shuffle, how the cards feel when they shuffle in my hands. Some other things you can hear, maybe people enjoy the sound of the flick 
or you know as you slap the cards down maybe people like that as well and then again I know we're kind of jumping around a little bit here but again we went through some things we could see some things we could touch some things we could hear and obviously we're seeing some amazing art on here so we can see that uh, sometimes bringing it back to you know maybe that's your favorite creature type Maybe you really just like the foiling on this. I don't know if you can catch that in the camera, but um, the foiling on the eyes of this jewel-dyed cobra is really cool. So, you know, just sometimes it is about that, right? Enjoying the sensation of opening a pack. Those cards that, you know, you really liked as a kid. Maybe you got to play, or is it, you know, as an adult? Okay, so here's a card I'm pretty excited about. I know a lot of people are excited about for Cube. Flame Tongue Yearling. That's the multi kicker. It's the Flame Tongue Kavu. Got a Foil Mountain. You know, it may seem ironic that I bought a collector's booster. I think I've said on here before I'm not the hugest fan of foil in my deck. Um, in my decks, but I certainly enjoy looking at them. And these look really good, though. Whales look really good here too. So. so again, you know, lots of things in magic we can see. So so that's, you know, maybe a good one to focus on. Maybe you really like the fuzzy tail on the uh on the squirrel here. Maybe you like the logos on my playmat. I like this Dothy borderless card. I like I've enjoyed the borderless cards. I have them in quite a few decks, so I'm pretty excited about that card. Got a sketch version of Faithless Salvaging. A Borderless Solitude. Cool art, again. You know, I think that is something I, I've probably mentioned before. I, I enjoy when streamers or content creators really talk about that aspect. It's the, the lore and the, the, the art and the... Now, especially, we're just spoiled with all the many versions of cards we get. Um... It's just it's such a huge part of magic for me. Uh, I get such enjoyment, you know, out of my commander deck. Um, I have a Git Rog deck, and I just, you know, what am I going to draw next? Ooh, I really like this card, and I like, you know, the black green symbols, or you know, uh, what whatever it is. That that deck particularly just brings me joy. So I look forward, you know, hopefully I'll be able to upgrade, you know, maybe cards like Dothy or something like that into into those decks. Oh, we got double Flame Tongue Yearling. We also got the foil sketch version. This is unique, too. Again, as somebody who's pretty into comics, I've mentioned before on here, uh, this is a cool thing to see, the sketch versions. I can't say, you know, again, if I'm just focusing, not, not thinking ahead or, I don't know, disappointed about my pulls or, or whatever, if I was feeling those things right now. You know, maybe I could look at this flame tongue feel. You don't know, really feel the the foiling. It's really great. Is this the etched one? I'm not sure. But just kind of appreciating the differences between the two yearlings here. Um, you know, that's something that can kind of bring me back. I, I I don't necessarily know how much I I I don't want to judge the uh, the border just yet. But it looks cool. It's just different. It's it you know jumps right out as soon as I turn the card, you know, the, the borders like these are cool. Phantasmal Dreadmaw. So we talked about uh, one thing you like about magic, and one thing I like about magic is playing with my children. My son is huge into dinosaurs, so I was very excited to tell him about this card. I'll be very excited to give him this card. He'll be excited that it's in foil. Um, so that could be something, again, uh, if you're, if you're, you're playing live maybe uh, benefits you just to kind of look at your favorite cards or um, you know again in this case a creature type uh, a unique or, or, or kind of cool version for a blue card and again the sketch version is really cool hopefully you can see that decently on on the stream or on the recording Patrick Gnomes regular old foil again these foils are looking real good 
Machiner, Nightmare Adept. Really like if we're talking about something we see or something we like in Magic. You know, I mentioned I like pulling cards that I know my kids will enjoy. I like pulling cards in the old border. I did not realize until recently that I was such a mark for these old borders, but, you know, here I am, the old man of Magic. And when I see something like this, I really like it. This one's a little dark. The, the art's a little dark, I will be honest. But that little the little star there and the... Yeah, it's just really cool. And then we've got Brea's Apprentice. What does this do? Okay, cool. And, ooh, we got a sweet... A sweet, sweet foil clue token. That's really neat. You know, again, we don't want to downplay. I, I would never want to insult anybody about, you know, magic is getting more and more expensive. But for myself, you know, it's something I just bought as a treat for myself. You know, I'm happy with the pulls I got, but this is definitely a sweet little addition on the end. And then we already saw the Timeless Dragon token, if I do get that card as well, that uh, eternalizes into this when you after you cycle it. That's really cool. Again, would be excited to give that to my kid. But I might have to fight him over this awesome, awesome clue token. And, you know, I'm not the hugest fan of foils, as I said. But I would definitely use... I, I definitely like them for tokens. You know, I, I have a, uh, quite a few foil tokens that I like to use. Foil zombies, foil bears. And I think I will add this foil clue to that. So that's our collector's booster pack. Again, we kind of went over, and I'll link, you know, a brief article on utilizing grounding techniques. Again, you know, maybe this was a somewhat, uh, you know, humorous or entertaining way to do it. But, you know, if that's something you're interested in, you know, I would encourage you, you know, talk to a professional, look up more information. You know, it's something that people who, who struggle with managing their emotions have said that it really helps. And certainly, you know, magic can trigger a lot of things in us, you know, including, again, myself. I went over a couple weeks ago an opportunity where maybe I could have used that uh, for myself, uh, you know, stepped away or done something in between a match when I, when I felt like I made a poor decision that cost me the match. You know, maybe that would have been, uh, you know, something I could have benefited from. So just kind of going off of that, I hope, you know, that people enjoyed this. We can crack some more packs in the future. I don't get too many. I think I've only gotten a handful of collector's boosters in the pack, but, you know, it was fun to open one. And at least in the very end, you know, if if I, if I didn't crack what I wanted, what I needed, value, whatever you want to say, is, is the point of cracking packs, you know, at least I can share, you know, some emotions, some uh, conversation with you all. So please comment if this is something you like. You know, please share the videos. We're always looking for, you know, uh, these videos to get out there help more people help myself as well you know have to be honest that's part of why i started this you know to get feedback from others and and i hope that uh we can reciprocate with each other and uh, continue to get better together as we say uh, we get better together so thanks again everybody 